By week's end, Kentucky Senate candidate Rand Paul, son of former presidential candidate Ron Paul, found the spotlight a little too hot, canceling his appearance on this program and raising doubts about his prospects for the fall. Well, Dr. Paul's new to uh, running for public office, and uh, I think it's uh, Bob's experience, I'm sure my experience, that uh, you see uh, novice candidates uh, occasionally stumble on questions. I think he's clarified his position. Do his views concern you? I don't know what all his views are. I've uh, watched this uh, exchange, but the fact of the matter is I think he's doing a, the right thing by right. talking but to Senator the people of Kentucky. You, you, you have heard him. his views, and, and it's not as if he hadn't thought this out. He's got very specific views about even the Civil Rights Act. He took issue with only one of the titles in the Civil Rights Act, so it's not as if this was some sort of ambush. He's thought a good deal about this. He's articulate about what he believes. You've heard that. Um, do you agree or disagree? Well, he's clarified his views that he's opposed to any kind of discrimination period, uh, and I applaud him for clarifying that view. I just think that every time you have a citizen who decides to run for public office who's not a professional politician, that occasionally they're going to stumble. I believe, I think it's, a, it's his philosophy is misplaced in these times. I don't think it's uh, uh, where the country is right now. But I think in this case, Rand Paul's uh, philosophy uh, got in the way of reality. And the reality of it is that was important legislation at the time that put in place important benchmarks uh, for the progress of, of, of free people. Perhaps the bigger question is whether this fresh new face in politics is now a weaker candidate than he was Tuesday night.